Welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Uh, this is Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Um, today I would like to talk about spiritual values. So, basically, what in the old days, back in the day, like for example, places like India, when the whole idea of, of creating an ashram was that creating a situation for the disciples, the seekers of the truth, to come and sit with their spiritual teacher, spiritual master. And the idea of creating the ashram was to, for the wealthy to chip in and to donate money uh, to create a platform for the less fortunate, those who weren't uh, financially secure, be able to be in an ashram to sit around the master and without really worrying about how to make a living, uh, to be able to meditate and receive uh, spiritual wisdom from their master, from their guru, their teacher, to be able to work on themselves. So that is really mainly the idea of having, uh, creating ashrams or spiritual platforms for uh, seekers of the truth to come together and be able to do the work. So, uh, Shishi, I don't know what's going on, but I don't think if everybody's muted. I just muted everyone. I everyone. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Sorry about that. The, <laughs> um, but what slowly, slowly has changed as the world is changing and the world is really revolving around a one pointedness and that money and uh, possessions and the worldly uh, accomplishments have become the center point of human psyche. And, and we are being valued or we look, we're being looked at on our financial strength and our wealth of where we're at financially. And if you're financially uh, are not sufficient or you're not in a position in society that um, it's worthy, people look at you as they don't pay attention to your spiritual understanding or your level of consciousness or where you're at. They look at you, what kind of car you drive, how you dress, uh, what kind of school you send your children to, to, you know, what kind of home you possess and things of that nature. So in today's society, and you can also see it in our movies or in our uh, TV and advertisement industry, you can very clearly see it, especially when you enter into the mainstream world and you can see that mostly the topic and conversation is always about investments, um, where I can, you know, what sort of stocks I can buy or Bitcoin or uh, where I can buy real estate that I'm going to be profiting or what kind of business is profitable. It's basically all about money. Uh, very little in the mainstream world or next to none, uh, you hear anything about consciousness development. Unless you go into the spiritual world, you go to the ashrams or yoga centers or you get into the workshops or you enter into um, 
go to some expos or any kind of gatherings, uh, conscious centers that you come together, or you live in places like Sedona or Manchester or spiritual centers around the world, uh, which you hear the conversations is about human consciousness development, unless you're in that kind of environment, in the mainstream world, you don't hear anything about that. And um, God, spirit, the creator, the force of life uh, has, it's become non-existing and money or the dollar sign has taken over. And that is the most important thing that exists and nothing else matters. So this is very sad of what is happening uh, in the world right now. And especially with the, the leaders that, especially in the United States, the, the, that they've chosen, they re-emphasize this fact, this, and they're more focused on separation, creating separation in the world. There is them and us. Um, the only thing that they relate to spirituality is I, religion. And religion we have seen uh, in our lives that unfortunately in some ways has lost its values because it's heavily emphasized on fear and punishment and that kind of things and dogma and do's and don't do's uh, or recruiting soldiers uh, most most uh, religious groups they are recruiting people to pull into their own uh, organization and ultimately be able to brainwash you and so you can go out there and fight for their belief system in the name of God. But very little of the effort is really into spiritual understanding and opening up our hearts and to develop uh, the love for one another and to really go into this place of accepting and forgiveness and, and learning systematically, uh, getting educated in order to raise our vibrations to a higher consciousness. So this whole system that we're looking at has really become crooked and twisted and misrepresented. And it's very, very unfortunate. So <laughs> for those of us who are being pulled uh, on, on the spiritual path and the spirit, the, the force, the, the life force, God, um, whatever name you would want to put into it, but whatever name that you really feel resonate, resonate with, is that those of us who's been called upon the path of the spirit, who's been called and been touched by that, 